This is Winning with Wisdom Interactive. What is the next question that came up? Hmm. Why does God give seed and why does God give seed? So let's talk about this. Why does God give seed? Well, in John 12, 24, it says, uh, I assure you, Jesus is speaking now. He says, I assure you, most solemnly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat, a seed falls into the earth and dies, it remains by itself alone. But if it dies, if what dies? The seed. It has to die to your purpose to accomplish God's purpose. If it dies, look at this, it brings forth the fruit or the harvest. Here we're waiting for God to be our delivery boy. God does not our delivery boy. He doesn't bring our harvest. The seed does. Hmm. Where was the apple tree all these years hidden in the seed? Where was the orange tree all these years hidden in the seed? Where is the next car you're believing God for right now hidden in the seed? The house you need, the job you need, the business you need to get out of debt. Mm, the money you need is all hidden in the seed. And seed brings forth its purpose and destiny only if it's sown. Seed contains in it the supernatural blueprint of reproduction and increase. What does God give? He gives seed. But that seed has to die to your purpose to accomplish God's purpose. Remember what I told you. Seed has in it a DNA. A DNA. And that DNA will never come to pass if the seed never gets planted. I remember one time I was traveling to a place called Branson, Missouri. And we were uh, driving on the highway from Springfield. And here's what I found out. From Springfield, uh, uh, they dynamited the rocks. When they dynamited the rocks, they put the highway in. And as I was driving on that highway, I saw a little tree about this big mm, on the side of those rocks. How did that tree get in there? Well, a tiny little seed fell into the crack of that rock. Rain came. And guess what? The seed opened up and it had enough power in it to send a root down and a stalk up with leaves and more seed. Where was all that power hidden all the time? It was hidden in the seed. Have you any idea how much power is hidden in your seed? My brothers and sisters, the seed contains power. The seed has three parts. Uh, the outer part is the husk, then the endosperm, the food storage zone, and right in the center of that seed is the embryo. What is the embryo? My harvest. That's exactly right. Where is my harvest hidden all the time? It has been hidden in the seed. That's why God is telling you what seed to plant. You can't throw anything in a bucket. You can't send any seed to any ministry that's feeding you like this one. You can't do that. You've got to pray and obey. For too many years, Christians have been planting tomato seed, wonder why corn isn't going to come. Corn will never come. You can fast for 40 days and 40 nights and still corn ain't going to come. You planted the wrong seed. The only harvest he's obligated to give you is the seed he directed. Now, let's go to the next scripture and the next question that came in which was who has my prosperity I found the answer let's go to Luke 638 Luke 638 and Jesus said these words give and it shall be given to you good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men pour into your bosom see I told you God doesn't have your harvest men have it told you nothing is coming from heaven it's already here some man living in your house some man driving your car some man has your job your business and your money but why don't I have it because you've never planted the right seed you always plant where you're being fed the Word of God if we're feeding you then you ought to be praying Lord what should I sow where I'm being fed the word you can't plant seed in bad ground and wonder why it don't grow it has to be good ground the soil where the anointing is that feeds you the word of God. God gives seed to the sower. Now we found out that as we give, it comes back. How? Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. It will always be multiplied. My brothers and sisters, seed never produces just one seed. It always produces more. And you know what? As you sow that seed, a harvest is going to come back. But it says, shall men. So what is the, listen, listen, listen. When you pray and obey, Sow the seed that God tells you for the harvest you want. You get to pick the harvest, but God gets to pick the seed. You sow in the measure he tells you. Then he, God, speaks to men to walk into your life and to pour into your bosom the harvest of that seed. Are you getting a hold of this, my brothers and sisters? Nothing is coming from heaven. The house, the car, the job, everything you need is in your community. Well, why don't I have it? Why do some men have it? Because you haven't planted the right seed in the right soil. Amen? 
when you plant that seed, now it comes back. Then he gives a warning. Look out, for with the measure you give, it shall be measured back to you. My brothers and sisters never got a harvest in hundreds till I planted my first hundred dollar seed. I was remember I was going to Bible school. We were broke. I had three kids at home. My wife and I had no money. We were both Bible school students, and a man gave me a hundred dollar bill. Now listen, when you ain't got no money, hundred dollars is a whole, whole lot of money. We got that, that money was given to me. I was so excited, a man gave it to me. That night I was serving in another man's ministry and God says, plant the seed. I said, what? No, I thought it was for me. God said, no, no, I'm not trying to take something from you, son. I've got something in hundreds I'm trying to give you. I obeyed God, planted that seed. That night, a lady walked up to me, gave me a check of $360. Somebody shout next. Why'd I get a harvest in hundreds? I had sowed in hundreds. We were about to graduate, graduate Bible school. I said, Lord, I need thousands of dollars to start this ministry. He said, I want you to plant a thousand. I said, Lord, that's all I got. He said, no, no, I'm not trying to take something from you, son. I don't need what you got. You need what I got. But I can't give you a measure you will not sow. My wife and I had the same number. We planted that thousand dollar seed. On the night of graduation, somebody walked up to me, gave me a check of six, $16,500. Somebody shout next. Why'd I get a harvest in thousands? I had sowed in thousands. We were in debt in our building. This building, we wanted to get out of debt. I sowed in the measure I wanted to receive. 28 days later, somebody came into our ministry, and we got this building paid off. But God's no respecter of persons. He'll do exactly the same for you. If you sow in the measure you want God to bless you, if you sow led by the Holy Ghost and the anointing where you're being fed the Word of God, God will tell you what to sow, when to sow, where to sow. Because that anointing that fed you, caused you to grow, is about to cause your seed to grow. Debt and mismanagement of the seed God has entrusted you will eventually become a weight that will hinder your effectiveness for the kingdom. Can't do it your way and wonder why God ain't going to bless you. If you want God to bless you, you're going to have to do it His way. In Dr. Nasser Siddiqui's practical and relevant new six CD teaching series titled Managing Money God's Way, you'll discover why God expects you to generate money and prosper, how fear, doubt, and greed affect your finances, and much, much more. Managing Money God's Way is available today for your ministry donation of $25 or more. Call toll-free 1-888-947-3660. Write to Wisdom Ministries, Post Office Box 4700, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 74159. Or order online at wisdomministries.org. With your order, you'll also receive a free copy of the Wisdom Magazine Miracles Edition to build your faith. Request Managing Money God's Way today.